Stephen. So Stephen Pinex of Behind the Board DJ Entertainment. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about your company? So it's about four years old. Uh, the name of the company actually came from the blog that I started a few years back. I wanted to give a little bit of information for brides and grooms looking at DJs and DJ or wedding entertainers for the wedding receptions. Um, I primarily do weddings. It's all about the entertainment piece, being able to tell a story, use the songs that they choose, the events that they choose, and input all of their friends, their family, include them in there to tell a story of their big day, their relationship. Um, I've been, again, been doing it about four years. I love doing what I do. Uh, the big thing about it is that it's, it's a passion piece for me, shows me the best parts of humanity. Um, it's about love, faith, hope, which is kind of cheesy, but that's literally, that's what's drawn me to it for the last yeah. 14 years of being in the industry. Sure. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's the wedding itself. You know, like you said, the love, the joy, everything like that. So then going through you, like, what would you say is kind of what you're most known for with your personality? Is it your style? Most of it's my style. A lot of people that know me that have been to weddings that I've been to, it's, I try to be engaging, engaging with all of the guests. It's not just about the bride and groom, it's about getting everyone else involved. And so if that's just the way that uh, I present the bride and groom during the grand entrance, so be it. Um, a lot of people know that I have no qualms getting out on the dance floor with everyone else. Um, I'm sometimes called the dancing DJ okay, <laughs> because okay. of it. So I'll get out there and I'll teach you how to wobble, teach you how to doogie, all of that. But if you need me to just stay back and be more on the presenter side, then I can definitely do that too. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that's a great segue of teaching. So we're going to talk about today on how to do, you You had a specific term for it. So what, why don't you go ahead and explain kind of what you're talking, what you want to talk about today. All right. So just because uh, when you and I first got in contact, I just gotten ready to do a wedding where we did the table race. So the way the table race works is that uh, it has to be coordinated with the photographer. And your entertainer, your DJ, MC, whatever title that they're using, are going to announce to your crowd that this is going to happen. So the idea is that either you or your DJ chooses a song, and you're going to visit each table of guests that happen to be in attendance there. And the idea is that you take selfies with each of the tables. It could be wild and crazy. It could be serious. That table has to kind of decide before the couple gets there. But the idea is that the couple will visit each table and the reason that it's a table race is ideally they'll be able to visit each table before the chosen song is done. Okay. It's chaotic, but it's really, really fun when the crowd gets into it. Gotcha. So it's a it's a beat the song type race is yes. what it is. It's not like everyone's racing each other for something. It's right. we have this much time to get this done. But of course, if you don't make that time, they still have time to get all the shots, exactly. right? <laughs> and on top of it, one of the fun things as a DJ is that, hey, you know, if I see that maybe they're not going to beat it for the regular time, we can extend it a little bit. Sure, sure. Yeah, go back and play a little loop or something oh, like yeah. that, <laughs> for sure. And then do you do anything as a DJ then, like while they're getting the photos, are you interactive trying to encourage people to get ready or you just you announce it, you let the song play and it's up to the guests to kind of react to it? It, it kind of depends on what's going on in the moment. Uh, one of the big things for DJs, whether it's that event or just the overall event, is that we're watching the crowd and paying attention to what they're doing. And with that kind of interacting as need be, it's a whole lot of calling audibles, if you will, to take a sports analogy. So if I see that it's working really, really well, they're more focused on what they're going to do before the bride and groom arrives. So I don't have to say anything. If they need a little bit of extra coaxing, then a little bit of extra on the mic to kind of help get that hyped up a bit more. All right. Awesome. Well, that's great information. And thanks for joining us today, Stephen. Really appreciate it. You guys can find his information down in the link below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact myself or Stephen on the table race.